know your enemy. Hello guys, this is Darian64 back at you again with another episode of Doom 2016. Oh, I am Vega, the sentient intelligence assigned to Mars. After running down oh, hello Vega. Suit, it appears what are you doing in Doom? Shouldn't you be in Street Fighter? When completed, will Boy, upgrading your shouldn't you be in Street Fighter? Pace, I have added a tracking component to your dossier. Speaking of Street Fighter, that's another thing I had on my mind for uh, streaming, actually. I might do some arcade mode videos. I don't know about doing any online sessions because my internet kind of sucks. Um, but I will do like, hey, maybe do some arcade mode sessions, some story mode sessions. I don't know. I do want to get some Street Fighter content in there, though. Okay, what am I doing right now? Okay. Hold on, give me a sec. I gotta plug in the charger. Because... The last thing I would want is for this controller to die on me when I'm trying to play. That is the last thing I'd want to happen. There we go. Back to business. Get fucked. Power restored. I believe in honesty, especially now. And what will be your final moment? What is it with? World? I don't know what it is, but what is it with like every 2015, 2016 game afterwards? What is it with all the females having like My sisters and this butch be hairstyle? You will be the this first. butch haircut where it's short them, just as I don't know it, it's weird I don't know I, it, it's a pattern I'm noticing it's just Stopping. it's I haven't seen a lot of female video game characters lately that have like typical long hair Call of Duty has it uh, Fortnite has it uh, a lot of games have it now to where it's Females have this butch hairstyle, and it's like, dude, it to me, it doesn't look attractive. It just doesn't. I mean, it depends on who's wearing it, but for the most part, I don't find it attractive. It's it's weird. Just it's something I notice. You might not notice it, but it's just me. It's just me. It's probably just me. Why isn't the tutorial turned off? Huh. Okay, get the shotgun. There's another classic Doom Room here, but once again, I'm not gonna go for those. Waste of time. Waste of time. Okay, is that all? All right, let's go. Get that barrel in the back. All right. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Demonic presence at unsafe levels. More like at unsafe levels. barrel. Get out of here. Again, sorry if I'm not talking that much. It's just that when when it when it gets to these really intense sections, you gotta keep focus, especially when I'm on ultra violence mode. It can't make any fuck ups. Go over here, nice. And we get the chainsaw. Doom is one of the few games that does a chainsaw correctly. They make the animations look good, and they know how to make it overpowered, but make it to where you use it sparingly. That's what I like. It's, it's overpowered, it's insta-kill on any enemy, depending on how much fuel you have, but it has ammo, and I like that. Okay, what am I doing? What am I... Okay, I blame that little... Okay, I need to shut that off. I blame the tutorial thing at the bottom. That was fucking with my peripheral. 
that was really fucking with my peripheral and I can't deal with that. I need to shut that tutorial thing off. That was a mess. And that wasn't even a gore nest room. Go to settings, game. Turn those tutorials off. Um. Um, where the fuck? Where the fuck are the tutorials? Ah, they're there. Turn that off. Alright. Sitting here fumbling with the tutorials. Anyway. Anyway, back to business. Okay, now the guy's there. Get all you fuckers here. You demons sure got some uh, durability for taking two shotgun blasts to the face. I'll tell you that much. Ooh, stomped around his leg. Crush that shit. Shoot that barrel. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now I just gotta go get the yellow ac access key, which is up here, I believe. Shield. Ammo. We go down, down here, we see a bunch of scrubs. While they are scrubs, they can obviously be lethal in numbers. They have strength in numbers, and that's a pain in the ass. And now we have a gore nest hanging out right here. Alright. Bust that open and get ready for some intense shit. Op. Going in here like Pickle Rick. Oh, yeah! Get fucked. You know why they call me Frieza, bitch? Cause I'd be the coldest motherfucker in the neighborhood. Oh, I'm gonna regret those words. Get that glory kill, okay, okay. I was about to bite it for a minute, get that chance off. As soon as I said I was the coldest motherfucker in the neighborhood, they were gonna pull some shit. Not having that. You guys get to have a chainsaw for dessert. That's what you get. I think we could do this. Do this consistently. I mean, the levels are pretty decently timed. I mean, like, I think I can make it, like, 15 minutes, min uh, 15 minutes each session for each level. Because that's roughly the e each level, I think. Yeah, we're running at 8 minutes right now, so I think, uh, I think we might be able to do it. Explosive shot! Because art is an explosion! And we got the yellow key card. Oh my god, jump scare! Oh my god, it's Five Nights at Freddy's! Oh my god, it's a horror game! The reason why I said that was because, uh, in the Discord I'm in, there's a couple of friends were just discussing what qualifies as a horror game, and they were talking about, oh, Five Nights at Freddy's, all it is is just a bunch of jump scares, but I was like, well, it advertises itself as a horror game, that's why it's a horror game, but... They were like, oh, what about Majora's Mask? That has a lot of scary shit in it, but that's not a horror game, I'm like, well... We were discussing some stuff, and I'm like, well, one of them said that Majora's Mask was like an Edgar Allan Poe style of horror, and I'm like, yeah, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Wait, why is that sealed? I thought I pressed it. Or did I, did I press something else? I could have sworn I pressed that. 
Ah, uh, whatever. I was just sitting there staring at the door for no reason. Wow. Alright. I think there- yep, there's a- there's a berserk over here. We're gonna go ape shit. You ready? We're gonna go ape shit. We're gonna go ape shit right now. In arcade mode, this thing is so hilariously overpowered because in arcade mode, what happens is you can have an enemy be like 30 feet away from you and if you target him in your uh, crosshairs and if you press the trigger button, he will instantly teleport straight in front of him and punch a hole in his chest. It is hilarious how overpowered it is in arcade mode. I think the same thing goes for the glory kills too. Like you can do it from a farther distance than this. Cause I know that for a fact. Switch to the shotgun. Hate how you guys keep jumping up and down places. That kind of fucks with my groove. Especially on arcade mode. Fucks with my groove especially. Goddamn imps. You fucking imps! All right, we good? We good. All right, let's get going. Yeah, it looks like uh, each level might round up to 15 minutes, roughly. That's nice. That fills up an entire episode and makes it pretty damn fun for me, so that works. Yeah. And it slides off. You served your purpose, dead man. You served your purpose. I'm blocking your access to the facility scanner. I'm blocking your access. And I'll give you what you need. And I'll give you what you need. And I'll give you what you need. Yep, I already knew you were there, motherfucker. Get fucked. Alright. And I believe now, we are at the end of the level. Just gotta kill these fuckers through the door right here, and we're good. I'm gonna hit him with an explosive shot. Art is an explosion! Cower in awe! Cry your heart out! Oh, we're not exactly at the end of the level. Oh, we better hurry up. I don't know if I got much time. Better hurry up. Better hurry up. How much time we have left? We got... Ooh, roughly a minute. I think I know exactly where I'm gonna end it off. Cause technically it would be the end of the stage, but I know where I know exactly where we're gonna end it off. I know exactly where we can end it off. Ooh, that was a terrible idea, and now this guy's gonna take a chunk out of my neck. Even though that doesn't make any sense because I'm wearing full body armor. Alright, well tell you what, tell you what. Since I'm out of time, I'm gonna cut the episode here. And in the next episode, we're going to we're going to continue off from here and we're going to beat the stage. Even though that really fucks with my OCD, we got to do it this way, all right? So, I will see you guys in the next episode later.